Hello, people. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own screensaver, okay? Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a new folder. And I'm just going to get the info to that and name it whatever you want. I'll, I'll just name it my framework. Enter. Okay, there we are. There we basically are. This is how to do it. So we're going to go to system. Well, this is how to create a screen saver with the built in photos. So you're going to go to system preferences. And then you're going to go to desktop and screen saver. And this is basically how we're going to go. We're going to go to desktop. And there is my desktop right there. I'm, But first off, I'm going to drag this one over to my framework. And then I'll put it in there. Now, I'll also put this one in there. And you just keep doing that. And, uh, I'll just keep doing that. Uh, you can uh, skip ahead if you want to. I don't mind. Oh yeah, and your computer will make a sound when you do this. I'll show you. Sounds like this. Here, I'll do it for example. Um, I hope you heard that. Here's my default um, desktop right here, Snow Leopard Prowl. And we're just going to drag that into the folder. Okay, I'm done. So I'll put it back. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I had to zoom out. Um, in my last video, uh, Mac Trucks number one. Uh, I forgot to do the uh thing that I wanted to do at the end. So this is what I did. This is a poll question. Do you like my desktop? Okay. I want you to leave a comment down there. And this is basically how you... Okay. So we're done. We just enter this and we're basically done. So you see all those and that? I'll actually make that now. Uh, there. So, uh, you don't really have to do that. I just did that for the fun. Alright, so system preferences, desktop and screensaver, hold on, I'll zoom in. So you're going to go to screensaver, and then you're going to scroll down, and you're going to add one, add folder of pictures, and it's in my, in my desktop, and it's my framework. Now I will choose that. And so it will play a little thing of that. Okay now, and then now, um, so I don't think that I can show my screensaver on this uh, screen recording, so I'm just going to go back into Safari. Uh, it's supposed to play a little video when I go to my homepage. It's 
here's the URL. Um, you can uh, this will be in the description. It doesn't have to be there. It's apple.com slash safari slash welcome slash. I'm gonna go to YouTube. I did post it up in one of my video descriptions. So um, some terminal tricks. Okay, now I'm gonna actually copy this right here. Copy. Minimize into the icon, and then we're gonna just go in terminal. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, and we're just gonna paste that. Now, uh, is there anything? Okay, there's one thing that needs to be fixed. Okay. Y um. Now, this code, basically what it does is it makes your desktop your screen saver. So, I'm going to hit enter. Minimize that. And look, we have created our own custom screen saver. Um, it's the uh, easiest way to do it. And that's basically how that's done. Uh, uh, just go to options, keep it dark, I'm actually gonna do shell new window, okay, so that's basically how that is done, now, uh, you can also make it go random, I'll minimize this, so this is basically, you can go to desktop and screensaver, options and uh you can also make it so it sh shows with the clock show random yeah. so that's basically how that is done then I'll go on to here I'll paste that So that's basically how that is done. Uh, leave comments, subscribe, and have a good day, and have fun creating your own screensaver. Oh yeah, here's the clock that I was talking about. You can, I believe you can move her. No, you can't. Okay, so that's basically how it's done. Close. Terminal. Quit. So, uh, have fun with your new custom screensaver. Bye.